Ryan. I am an architect, an historian, a creator. I teach at New York University's Institute of Fine Arts and I've curated the French Pavilion at this Biennale. The French Pavilion is devoted to a series of questions, responding to Rem Collas's questions with questions. Uh, the problem is less how France has absorbed modernity, France has also inspired modernity, but in what way modernity has uh, given promises, has uh, let the people envision a brave new world and with w in what way these expectations have been sometimes disappointed, sometimes transformed. So a series of pieces and a movie uh, connect together really revealing cases from the comic case, even farcical case, of Jacques Tati's house in his movie Mon Oncle, a house that promises a new style, a new life, and which in, in, in fact becomes an impediment and an embarrassment to people who inhabit it and to the guests, to more tragic uh, moments when high-rise developments uh, of the 30s, very sophisticated ones, become during World War II concentration camps because they're so far away from the city. French Pavilion is one of the worst of the Anta Biennale. It's a very mediocre building, difficult to deal with, and the uh, designers of the Pavilion, a Paris firm called Projectile, had the idea of inserting a new structure inside the old one, a new square room, which uh, instead of making the space smaller, actually en en enlarges it and creates diagonal views. In the middle of this uh, new, new space, the uh, villa by Tati is represented by a uh, model which I had made some 10 years ago for another exhibition. And then uh, each gallery has a theme in which 3D objects, models, full-size objects, mock-ups are in the center, while the background is provided by the continuous projection of a movie. So as in a, in a tourist bus in the streets of London or Paris, you can step into the movie at some point, drop it, and uh, get into it again. It, it, in a way, it moves around with your trajectory as a visitor.